Hi friends, it's Hazel's mom. Hey, have you ever wondered why dinosaurs are named the way they're named? Yeah, that might seem like a strange question, but have you ever wondered why a pterodactyl is called a pterodactyl? Or why a stegosaurus is called a stegosaurus? Huh, well, I would be really interested in finding out. What do you think? Would you like to explore dinosaur names with me today? Yeah, that'll be fun. Oh, let's go. I'm so excited to learn about our dinosaurs with you today. Oh, I love words because you can learn so much about something just by the words that are used to describe it. So for our dinosaurs, all of their names have special meaning. So let's start, oh, let's start with Ankylosaurus. Hello. I'm Ankylosaurus. <laughs> so Ankylosaurus means fused lizard. Yeah, and Ankylosaurus is a fused lizard because all of its bones are fused together. And fused means um, like being glued together. Yeah. So, Ankylosaurus was built like a tank. He's a very hefty dinosaur and not someone you want to go up against. Oh! <laughs> so, Ankylosaurus means fused lizard. Hello! <laughs> well, that was fun. Okay, what about our friend Apatosaurus? So a potosaurus means deceptive lizard. Ooh, that sounds mysterious. <laughs> so deceptive means not being what it seems. So the reason a potosaurus is called a potosaurus is because some of its bones resemble another dinosaur that lives in the water. Well, not lives today, but lived in the water. <laughs> yeah, because dinosaurs are extinct, of course. <laughs> so, Apatosaurus means deceptive lizard. Hi, friends. <laughs> Ooh, and what about our friend Diplodocus? Oh, there she is. <laughs> So Diplodocus looks a lot like Apatosaurus. Ooh, yeah. But Diplodocus means double beam. Huh, well, that's kind of weird, isn't it? So Diplodocus is a double beam dinosaur because it had two rows of bones underneath its tail. Yeah, and its tail was 45 feet long. Whoa, that's a lot of tail. <laughs> we agree, Diplodocus, and so it needed those extra bones to hold up its tail. Ooh, so Diplodocus means double beam. Okay, and Oh, what about Parasaurophilus? Oh, you see that big long crest on his head? Yeah, Parasaurophilus means near crested lizard. Ah, hello. Yeah, so Parasaurophilus is also named after its head. Ooh. And this little crest is just a big, long, hollow bone, kind
kind of like a helmet. Ooh, that is one pretty head. So Parasaurophilus is near crested lizard. What about, oh, what about our friend Monoclonius? Ooh. So Monoclonius means one sprout. And Monoclonius has one horn that sprouts from its face. Ooh. <laughs> one really cool thing about Monoclonius is that its head is six feet long. Wow, six feet? That's really long. <laughs> yeah, we agree, Monoclonius. So his head is six feet from beak, which is his mouth, to the frill on his head. Oh, Monoclonius, one sprout. And what about another dinosaur that looks very similar to Monoclonius? Our friend Triceratops. Hello. <laughs> Our dinosaurs are so friendly today. So Triceratops is a three-horned face. Yeah. So do you see the three horns on Triceratops' face? One, two, three. Yeah, so Triceratops is another dinosaur that is named for its face. Oh, well, you're very cute, Triceratops. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Hey, look. Pachycephalosaurus. Oh, he is one of my favorite dinosaurs. Mostly because I just like saying his name. Pachycephalosaurus. Oh, that is a mouthful. So Pachycephalosaurus means thick-headed lizard. So Pachy is another dinosaur named after its head. So a Pachycephalosaurus has a big, thick dome on top of its noggin. Yeah, that piece of bone is 10 inches thick and it protects its brain. Oh, kind of like when you ride a bicycle and you wear a helmet. Pachycephalosaurus has a helmet built in. So Pachycephalosaurus is a thick, headed lizard. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> okay, so what about another really popular dinosaur, Stegosaurus? Ooh, look at all of those plates along our back. So Stegosaurus means roofed lizard. Yeah. So when Stegosaurus was first discovered, paleontologists, oh, paleontologists, yeah, those are the scientists that study dinosaurs, thought that the big bony plates laid flat across her back. That's why they called her the roofed lizard. But of course, we know now that Stegosaurus had these bony plates that stood up off of her back, making her look a lot bigger than she was. Ooh. Isn't that funny how she's named one thing, but then science has showed us something different. So Stegosaurus is the roofed lizard. All right, friends, so we have one dinosaur left to talk about, and that's our flying friend, the pterodactyl. So pterodactyl means winged finger. Oh, that's funny, isn't it? 
Yeah, so a pterodactyl's hands were way up here, but its wings came all the way down here. And a pterodactyl, if it stood on the ground, would be six feet tall. Ooh, that's tall. Yeah, it is tall. But when they spread out their enormous wings, their wingspan could be 18 feet. What? 18 feet? <laughs> yeah, you're a really big flyer. Oh, I'd say so. Whew. Oh my goodness, friends. I have had so much fun learning about our dinosaur names with you today. Ooh, Inglesaurus. <laughs> Ooh, it's kind of pokey. <laughs> All right, friends, that's the end of this video. But if you want to continue exploring with me, click the big red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time.